menu. Now we consider the application of Ampere Circuital Logo to find the magnetic field inside a toroid. So what is a toroid? We found a solenoid hoax. And if you take a solenoid and uh, when it into end to end, it forms a tube-like structure. And that tube-like structure is what we call a toroid. So if I draw the figure, it appears to be like this. So current I passes through this and will be passing out through this. And both the ends are meeting. So in this lecture, the magnetic field will be confined inside this tube. Field will be confined inside the toroid. And magnetic field at this point and this point is exactly zero. No magnetic field at this region or in this region also in this region. The whole magnetic field will be confined inside this one. And how much is that field? Let us find out. By applying Ampere circuital law, we know that closed integral V dot VL is equal to mu zero into I. Where I is the current enclosed by the field loop. So if I assume a loop here, a field loop like this, and from the center to this, let the average radius be R, and I is the current flowing through this one, then the magnetic field inside the loop is constant everywhere and therefore you can take that outside and dl will be equal to mu0 into total current enclosed by the loop. So total current enclosed by the loop, there are n number of turns there you can find, and in each turn there will be what? The magnetic, sorry, in each turn there will be current present. Therefore, we can calculate the total current to be equal to mu zero times small n. You know what small n is? Number of turns per length into the whole length of this solenoid that is 2 pi r into current i enter. Okay? Now by solving it, v into integral of the closed loop dl will be equal to again 2 pi r. That will be equal to mu zero n into i into two pi r. You can write. Therefore, two pi r and this two pi r will be going, and we get the magnetic field inside V will be equal to mu zero n into i. You are familiar with this equation. This is nothing but the field inside a solenoid. So you are getting the same field inside the toroid also. You know the reason why. Okay. If you stretch this one, every point here will be appearing to be a point inside the solenoid. All right. So, the magnetic field strength inside the solenoid and also inside the toroid will be one and the same.
but here the magnetic field is a confined field that the field is totally inside this toroid no spreading outside and this is finding application in the case of what you call the fusion reactors and all that you can refer and find